Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we're filming new makeup releases, episode number eight. I'm so excited. I love chit chatting about all the new releases, you know, sharing my thoughts, letting you know sometimes I get to try them in advance, so I will have some thoughts for you. But if that sounds good to you, then just keep watching. If you guys are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Karen Harris. I like little tan girl friendly makeup videos here on YouTube. I love eyeshadow palettes. I also love blush. I love doing my makeup, so if that sounds good to you, highly recommend subscribing, turning on the bell so you're notified every time I post. And if you could do me one more favor, watch this video all the way to the end. It really, really helps me out. And without further blabbering, let's get into it. Okay, y'all, I am feeling myself as per usual. So anyways, I did film this look. I will have this video probably tomorrow. We'll see. We'll see. Things have been a little bit hectic. We literally had a 70 degree day on Tuesday. No, on Monday. We were outside. We were living our best lives. Early spring. Here we come. And literally Tuesday we had a full-blown snowstorm, snow on the ground, couldn't go anywhere. It was, it was basically North Dakota in its true form. So living my best life over here, but I am wearing some new things. So let's go ahead and talk about it. So first of all, I did get my hands on the new Hyper Natural Palette from Natasha Denona. Now, oh, that's not it. <laughs> Oopsies, I have the Glam Palette out too because I was comparing them in my video. Here it is. This is the Hyper Natural Palette from Natasha Denona and I feel like this palette is pretty controversial at the moment because people rightfully so are upset because I believe this is being marketed as a universal palette and the bronzer shade doesn't really work for anybody probably much darker than me so that's a bummer. I was really hoping they would have done Too Faced palettes, always a good way to kind of cover more skin tones or if they had like refillable pans where you could like pop this out some kind of customization but alas that is not the case i am hoping that in the future we'll see more bronzers and contours from the brand i was curious to try it out because it is one of my favorite brands and i'm really into like the no makeup makeup look sometimes sometimes so i would highly encourage you to go check out my video if you are my skin tone and see how this looks on me if you're on the fence about picking it up. And that's all I'm going to say about that. And then for my eyes today, oh gosh, my soul just left my body because I thought my palette was going to fall, but it was just the box. There's no palette in there. Okay, so on my eyes, I'm wearing some new new from Lethal. So this just launched this past weekend. It's a bunch of like single shadows. So they did these beautiful like holo multi-chrome shadows. So we've got five of those. We've got some beautiful iridescent multi-chromes. Okay, and then on my eyes today, I'm wearing one of their multi-chrome flakies. So I'm wearing the shade Cosmic. It's such a pretty green color. So I will have this video for you guys probably tomorrow, just showing you a bunch of swatches. But I don't typically wear a lot of things like this on my eyes. I don't know. I feel like I'm always in a rush, which like everybody's busy. I get it. But I just hardly ever reach for stuff like this. But these are exceptionally beautiful, so I could totally see myself going into my drawer to grab these. So yeah, these are available on the Lethal Cosmetics website. Okay, so I have two other things. This launched the other day. This is the Groovy Garden Palette from Ensley Rain. They do have like some lip products, some loose pigments, as well as some single multi-chromes that launched with this. I just picked up the palette. The brand did send this to me a little bit early, but I did buy this just in case you guys are wondering. But this is such a beautiful palette and I did film a testing new makeup video with this and some other new products. So check it out, but it is available now. I don't think it's sold out yet. So watch the video if you guys are on the fence. And then this is another one that is launching, I believe this weekend. This is the Glaminatrix Cosmetics Pretty in Pastels palette. This one got revealed last weekend. 
and I did post a video doing an eye look so check it out it was the same day as the Ensley Rain video so it might have gotten lost in your subscription feed I'll try and link everything in a pinned comment down below I don't want to give away the video so Highly recommend checking it out if you're interested in any of those palettes. Glaminatrix is also launching these beautiful lip and cheek products. They are a multi-use product. I did try it out on my lips as well. I will say I love these as a blush. I think they're fine as a lip product, but I don't really care to do that. I just really think these are a very beautiful pigmented liquid blush and they blend so nicely. So. Highly recommend checking this out if you're interested. Okay, so I think that's all the products I have in person. I'm gonna slide on over so we can talk about some new makeup releases. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk really quick about this gorgeous new Groundwork palette from Denessa Myricks. This is the Blooming Romance palette. It is a multi-use, talc-free palette with velvety pomades and coordinating oil-absorbing shaping powders that easily define eyes, brows, cheeks and lips for $65. It's launching on March 19th and it looks absolutely stunning. I feel like I've seen so many people comment about how badly they want this and it does look beautiful. It's definitely tempting me because you guys know I love eyeshadow and then my next favorite thing is of course blush. So it's totally calling to me but I just need to I just need to think it through because I feel like all the shades are so close that it's just like too much for one single person. Denisa Myricks is a pro makeup artist so I can totally see this being invaluable to a pro artist to have in their kit because they can cater to light skin tones all the way to deep dark skin tones. So I think it's beautiful but the practical girl in me, the one that's like trying to save money is like Karen, you don't need this because you will never use all these shades and it'll be a huge waste of money. So it's just kind of like one of those things that I really, really want, but I don't know if I'll buy. So let me know. Are you guys interested in it? Should I pick it up? I passed on the bronzer one because that was another one that I just couldn't see myself using all of the shades. So yeah, a bit of a conundrum, but... It looks really, really good. It looks really, really good. If I had all the money in the world, I would just be like, let's buy it. Let's do it. Let's support Danessa Myricks. We love her. Okay, next is something I'm like low-key kind of curious about. I think this is cute, okay? And I posted about it on my community tab, and I feel like I got mixed kind of reactions from you guys. So some people are like, oh my gosh, I'm so sick of more collaborations like what's next like a Volkswagen and I think it was like a glam light collab or something and I was like but seriously though how cute would it be if somebody did like a 70s themed like little beetle eyeshadow palette with like fun colors and I was like that wouldn't be so bad like I feel <laughs> listen I get it it's exhausting but I think this is so freaking cute. The Girl Scouts are having a moment with hard candy and they've launched so many things. First of all, this freaking headband is just like amazing. Like I hope the Girl Scouts can go get some of these things for themselves. So this headband I think is freaking adorable. It's so tacky that it's wonderful. We've got some eyeshadow palettes. There's a green kind of themed one, a blue one and a purple one. I actually don't know the names of all the different types of Girl Scout cookies, but I will say the coconut caramel is definitely my favorite. Oh my god, it is so good. I don't think I'm a big Thin Mints, and I don't think I've had just the plain one in the middle there, but holy moly, I love me some coconut caramel Girl Scout cookies. So I heard from Hard Candy that this was coming out, and they said they were going to send it to me, but they're kind of one of those brands where the PR comes after the launch. So I don't know if I get it. Would you guys like to see something with it? I'm totally down to play with it because it looks so fun. Okay, next we have this new NYX Butter Melt Bronzer. And it looks freaking stunning. 
something about this packaging is so like satisfying to me so I'm very very excited to see if this will come to Ulta it says they're ten dollars each eight shades melts into skin delivering a buttered up bronzed finish and silky smooth skin soft glow shades infused with mango butter shea butter and almond butter I feel like some of the shades look very like I don't know almost like pink at first I thought these were blushes but I think I would probably wear one of the shades down here I can't see what this is called buttermilk bronzer 06 probably would be the color or 05 so yeah super cool looking very very excited I don't usually get too into drugstore products so that's why I'm excited about it plus I feel like of all of my makeup I have the least amount of stuff in the bronzer category so I'm curious I'm curious at least okay we've got this palette from Beauty Bay this is already available it's the smoky palettes and so they always launch this in like three different formats so there's the big one there's a like 16 pan palette and then there's like the 9 pan palette so I was really excited my ears perked up a little bit when I found out they were doing a new palette but now that I've seen the palette I already have the Natasha Denona midi xenon palette so I don't need more smoky tones like this but I mean I guess if you get the 16 pan one it's $20 so it's better than buying the midi palette from Natasha Denona if you want to save some money either which way I'm glad it exists but I'm so so glad that I don't freaking want it okay so one of my favorite brands that makes blush specifically RMS is launching new skincare so this is the new RMS skincare, a three-step skincare routine powered by Kakadu Plum Oil for your skin. So it says there's a beauty oil, there's a hydrating mix, and there's a hydrating mist, not a hydrating mix. Geez Louise. Okay, so, and then we have a luxe cream. So, you know, kind of a mid-price range. I'm not really interested in trying out the skincare, but... I just wanted to mention it in case anybody was wondering. Okay, so Terra Moon did launch their Lovers on the Sun palette. We did talk about this in last week's video. I was saying that we hadn't really seen the full collection yet. So they have two versions of the palette, the Solar and the Lunar, which they did show the Lunar palette after I filmed. And then those are $39 each. Oh no. It's the solo version is 39, the lunar version is 45, 10 singles, 9 are multi-chromes, 1 is a duochrome, and then there's also some lip products. So I typically love Terra Moon. I just haven't purchased much from them this year because I haven't really been drawn to it. And 2024 Karen is saying no to as many things as she possibly can because I always end up getting overwhelmed and... One thing I can control is how much I bring in. So I've just been waiting, just chilling. But I'm just really not into any of the colors in the palettes. I don't know. I just don't feel the color story. So I'm going to go ahead and save my monies on that. Okay, so the beautiful Basic Witch palette from Bella Beauté Bar is also back in stock. I have this. It's stunning. One of the most beautiful palettes that launched last year so if you want to get your hands on it I think it's shipping immediately and I do have a discount code with Bella Beauté Bar it's just KH Makeup if you want to use it to save okay so Westman Atelier is launching these matte lipsticks they're called Lip Suede's Cushiony Comfort Effortless Glide Ultra Saturated Hydro Matte Finish these look beautiful they're $50 each so there's no way I'm picking one up but it looks super duper bougie and I think they're gorgeous let me know if you're planning on buying them we also have from Jolie Beauty they launched some new eyeshadow primers and they can be used as eyeliners and brow pomades as well there's some really fun colors super duper cute and I don't use products like that so 
I won't be picking them up, but I think that's a good idea for them to have a product like that because it is very popular. Okay, next we have a, another restock. This is ColourPop and their Twilight collection. So this is restocking on the 29th, which is either today or tomorrow when you're seeing this. And it'll be at 12 p.m. Central Time. So I passed on this collection the first time. And honestly, I couldn't get it even if I tried because I think it sold out in like five minutes. Check it out if you're interested. I personally am not a big Twilight fan, so it was something I could easily skip. This I'm low-key interested in, and you guys know about my lipstick low buy. This is the new YSL, I think it's like a lip oil. These look delicious. And it says that they're basically new fruit oil formula of passion fruit and fig juice. Either which way, it looks delicious, and these colors are super duper gorgeous. So I'm going to keep an eye out to see if those come to Sephora. Okay, so I almost bought this palette because I've never tried this brand, but I've seen quite a few people post about this. So it's the CXC Beauty Out of Luck Eyeshadow Palette. It says, unleash your inner artist with a symphony of greens from the heart of the enchanted forest, the deepest of blacks like midnight sky, luxurious champagne sparkles, and the muted grace of taupe grays. Crafted for the bold and the spirited, this palette is your lucky charm for creating that bewitched and beguiled look. So I kind of forgot about St. Patrick's Day, but it's definitely got like a really pissed off looking leprechaun on the front of it. The colors look really pretty and I was gonna buy it. And I like literally had it in my cart and my payment and everything ready to go. And I was like, Karen, remember what you said. Like if it's not like calling to you that much like I was literally kind of buying it so I could review it for you guys and I still can listen your feedback is so valuable if you want me to buy it to show you guys to test it out so you don't have to spend the money that's totally fine but I myself was like uh, it's cute I like it I don't love the packaging it is cool if you guys like green eyeshadow and you want a mad looking leprechaun on the cover <laughs> it's a little scary just a, just a little bit Okay, so from Polite Society, Polite Pops Powder Blush in a Stick. Okay, this sounds kind of pretty. These are creamy and hydrating lid from within, easy to apply, some really beautiful shades. I haven't tried Polite Society yet. I've heard maybe like their foundation is really good. I don't know. I'm not going to buy it, but we'll see. It looks cute. What do you guys think? Okay, from Cover FX, we have the Radiant Star Tinted Moisturizer. Luminous formula for dry skin. Sheer coverage with mega moisture and even more radiance. So this sounds nice. I feel like we haven't talked about cover effects in so long. They're one of those brands that kind of had that one hit wonder product with those like blush highlighter duos they did. Like people were buying those all the time. They were like constantly sold out. And I feel like after that, they haven't really had like a banger of a product. So I haven't been paying a ton of attention to them. Oh, and their custom mixing drops. Do you guys remember those? Oh my gosh, the highlighter drops. Like back in the day, we were all like sitting there with our droppers, like mixing concoctions. And so anyway, they did have a few products. I guess I shouldn't say they were a one hit wonder, but not really into super dewy skin at the moment. So it's going to be an easy skip for me. Oh, it looks like they're also launching a long wear concealer. It says it masks blemishes, discoloration, and dullness with ease. So these are all available now on the Cover FX website. I think they also pulled out of Sephora. So yeah, I don't really think about them. Okay, we have from Ritual Defeat. They're launching a limited edition creator concealer. Ultra high coverage plush wear, $20 each. For this lab access release event, we invite you to join in our creative process with a full-size preview of potential forthcoming launch. That's really cool. So I think you can just go check it out. I think you can maybe buy it. I'm not going to go look right now, but I know Refer does that sometimes. Like if they're coming out with a new product, they'll let you buy it and then they'll ask you for your feedback. So I think that's pretty cool. Okay, what do you guys think about this Eason palette? So this is the Artistry palette number three, Harmony, Working in Perfect Harmony. This poetic collection features 15 matte pigments, 
A melody of shades from soft peaches, poppy and buttercups to hibiscus marigold, saffron and orchid hues designed to bring harmony to the structured look with an ethereal wash of color for your eyes and cheeks. So it's a multi-use product. So I don't think I've ever tried anything from Isam. It does say this is made in Italy and it's $80. I feel like for me, the shades are just like too similar to own this entire palette. It's kind of reminding me of a Morphe 35O palette, but just shrunken down. So overall, it's a skip for me, but I thought I'd mention it in case you guys were interested. It looks like we have a new celebrity brand. It's called Aura Bella by Bella Hadid. And I wonder what it is. Is it like skincare? It says reveal your alchemy. So we'll have to keep our eyes peeled on that. Okay, these I'm so buying. There's a few other things I want from Sephora, but I definitely have one in my Sephora cart already. These are the Maracuja Juicy Lip Vinyls from Tarte. $26 each, glossiest, shiniest, juiciest formula. Drenches lips in a slick, wet look finish for lips that speaks volumes. These just look so juicy, and I think the shade Shimmering Coconut. No, I don't need shimmer. I just want the regular. I don't need shimmer. Oh, wait, are they all called? No, I want like the sheer shade. Rose Brown, I think. Cocoa looks nice too, but. Honestly, Tarte has really caught on to something with this Maracuja Juicy Lip, and I'm not mad. I'm not mad. I'm totally into it, so good for them. In this episode of brands that I used to get PR from and no longer get PR from, it's Abel. They have a new collection launching. It's the Under the Full Moon, and I think this palette's beautiful. Gray toned with some really fun pops of like metallic shimmers. I know they have a decent shimmer formula, so this looks really pretty. And then there are some lip products as well, so I'll just pop up a picture for you guys. Okay, Lisa Aldridge launched some new things I like low-key want to try, but I also don't want to make an order for some mascara and eyeliner. But we have the Kitten Lash Mascara and the Kitten Flick Liquid Eyeliner, $36 for the mascara, $32 for the eyeliner. That's just a little more than what I like to pay for those two products, so I'm gonna pass on it, but I think I saw Charlotte Holcroft on YouTube and Instagram had like a review posted, so if you're dying to know, I would say check it out there. Okay, here's another thing that's a lip product that is definitely coming home to me. So these are the Kush Hydrating Sheer Tinted Lip Oils from Milk Makeup, a sheer non-sticky tinted lip oil made with hydrating oils that delivers an intense hit of hydration and shine for a smoother, fuller looking lip. Oh my gosh, I already have the shades I want picked out. I've got them on my loves list. I'm ready to place an order. Milk Makeup, please just take my money. I would love to be on their PR list. I'm just gonna put it out there. I'm just gonna manifest it. We'll see how it goes, but oh my God, I freaking love Milk Makeup. Okay friends, that is it for New Makeup Releases episode number eight. I'm sorry this video is a little bit delayed. I usually like to post them on Tuesdays, but we had a bit of a snafu with the schedule, so it's gonna go up either on Wednesday or Thursday, so I do apologize, but hopefully we don't have any snowstorms next week, and I'll be back, but I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your week. Definitely let me know what you are looking forward to as far as new releases this week goes. I will see you in another video very, very soon. Bye for now.